Okay, let's talk about sequential voltage. Uh, so that's this blue section over here. Um, at its core, it's just five steps of stepped sequential voltage. Um, so we can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, there's kind of a lot to unpack here with the control section. Um, so let's start with the really basic stuff. We're going to take sequence into pitch. Okay. So you hear it's driving the pitch of the complex oscillator. Um, we have five steps. We can choose for it to be four or three manually. We can also drive the sequencer from the keyboard. So if I had a sequence running down here on the make noise zero control, uh, it would be advancing the sequencer. Right now I'm having that pulsar drive the sequence. So, a few other things. Um, there's some interaction between the envelope generator and the pulsar in the sequencer, depending on how you've set up these switches. Uh, so, for example, if I set the envelope generator to sequence, and I've got it in sustain mode, it's going to sustain everything, and then these switches become live. So, you hear we're skipping steps. It's a way to kind of live vary your stuff. You can also, you know, change pol polarity and stuff like that. You can set a transient to get more of the bongo sound. As far as the way the pulsar interacts, you know, we can set the pulsar to sequencer. Same thing, this is kind of a way to stop your sequence. different ways to make these interact in terms of the sequencer driving the pulsar, the pulsar driving the sequencer, kind of goes back and forth. Um, there's also some interactivity you can set up where, you know, the zero control is driving the sequence, the sequencer is driving the pulsar, and they can kind of get into different interactions. Um, I'm not going to show those because those are sort of fun to discover on your own. Okay, so now let's think a little outside of the box. This is sequence, right? <clears throat> but it's just voltage. It could be anything. Uh, so I could take my sequence and I could drive timbre. And we could drive stuff simultaneously. I can drive so that's sort of a fun thing. We can also drive basically any input. So I can drive um, decay. <laughs> And you'll notice this is, to my mind, this is inverted, because to me, down should be shorter, but, you know, the way this is laid out, down is always longer. Um, a lot of times live, I will use the inverter to change these to make more sense for my brain. Same thing with sustain and attack. of like there's lots of things you can use this for we're going to go into something another use of this in the next video um, an important note about this input this is this can be the modulation oscillator fre frequency or it can be the amount of sequencer steps uh, if you want to change it you have to unscrew the top here and throw a switch underneath uh, this is in my opinion much more useful to change it to sequencer steps because then I can take a random and plug it in here, and it's going to do random amount of steps. So it's sometimes going to be five steps, sometimes four, sometimes three. And sometimes 
notes too. So that's a good way to get variation in your sequences. Um, so this five steps becomes a lot more of a complex thing when you do it that way. So I hope that helps.